The Studium Biblicum Franciscanum is particularly dedicated to the rediscovery of New Testament holy places and the early church in the Holy Land, the study of literary sources, and the illustration of the history of the shrines of the redemption. Beh, come prima cosa bisogna ricordare che l'OSBF non è nato dal nulla. As a first thing, it should be remembered that SBF did not come out of nowhere, out of the blue. But there is a whole prehistory and an earlier history of research and attention to the holy places. Even the pilgrims who came often were educated, knowledgeable, experienced people. They also challenged the Franciscans, custodians of the holy places, a little bit. So the Franciscans always felt stimulated to research the history and importance of the places they guarded. In the memory of Brother Eugenio Alliata, the presence of the first archaeologists. We can recall some of their presence in the area. We recall as first, perhaps, Brother Giuseppe Baldi, Franciscan of the 19th century, who was put by the Custers in charge of the shrines of Galilee. So many shrines in Galilee depend on his particular research. Others paved the way, such as Brother Benedict Lambic and Barnabas Masterman. The first one that was part of the Studium Biblicum Franciscanum was Father Gaudentius Orfali, after Sylvester Sal, and his first major excavation was at Mount Nebo in Jordan, where Father Bellarmino Bagatti also participated. Another important Franciscan was Father Virgilio Corbo. Father Virgilio Corbo was active throughout his life in different places. His main collaborator was Stanislaus Lofreda. Then another great tandem, and the one I participated in, with Father Michele Piccirillo. Father Michele Piccirillo, a very versatile man of great knowledge, who dedicated his life to research, especially in the region of Jordan, but not only. Syria, in Egypt, the Holy Land in general, was his great interest, his life's interest. Together, we worked in Mount Nebo, in Madaba. Others also, when they worked with him, formed very good tandems. Carmelo Papalardo, Stefano De Luca, one rather in Jordan and the other rather in Magdala. So what is the difference that the Franciscan biblical study has brought? It has been this, the scientific study of places. Before it was a study rather dictated by passion, rather amateurish, if you will. But with the founding of the Franciscan biblical study, real studies were made. Things were studied with much more depth, coming to very interesting conclusions, which have been proposed to science and scholars. The SBF has a specialized library of about 60,000 volumes and over 1,100 journal titles. A library to make people understand what love for the Word of God means is how brother Samuel Salvatori calls it. In 2027, this library will be a hundred years old. In fact, it was founded at the behest of Father Ferdinando Diotallevi, who was at that time former custos of the Holy Land, but resided here in this convent. It was willed by him, started in 1927 with books from the convent of Saint Saviour, and then slowly, over the years, it grew more and more. At first, it occupied only a large hall here in the convent, but now it occupies four floors of our convent, and we also have more than 60,000 volumes and numerous journals, hundreds of journals. So we can say that in these 100 years, the library has developed a lot. It has really become a treasure of our Bible study, but especially a treasure of the custody of the Holy Land. 
First of all, I would like to say that this library makes us understand what love for the Word of God means. Because to love the Word of God means to love the written Word and therefore the Bible, to love it in the languages in which it was written, to love it also in the places that tell us about the Word of God. And so archaeology, history, biblical geography. Students who come here to study have the opportunity to learn about both the different editions as well as the different languages of the Bible. We have grammars here, texts in Greek, in Hebrew, in Aramaic. We have grammars of Akkadian, Syriac and several other ancient languages that are taught in our Bible study. Specially preserved are the oldest texts of the Bible dating back centuries. Here, we keep in a confidential repository some very old editions of the Bible, with even commentaries on the Bible. We keep several texts that are now a few centuries old and therefore cannot be given in everyone's hands because they might get damaged. But when a student wants to consult these texts, these ancient editions or ancient grammars or ancient commentaries from a few centuries, even dating back to 600, 700, 800, we have the opportunity to study these books, but we try to keep them jealously because we also risk a little bit of ruining them. We always keep them available though. Brother Samuel has the opportunity to touch with his hands to read this enormous wealth that is the library. <laughs>